Hey everybody, Aaron from Warmoth here, and I am super jazzed about today's video. I finally get a chance to check out this new tremolo by Wilkinson. This new Wilkinson bridge has become a bit of a sensation in the boutique world and uh, I have been dying to try one out. And apparently a lot of you have been too because over the last couple of months we've gotten a lot of uh, customers with questions about what specs they should choose and stuff to be able to fit this into a Warmoth body. And it's not very intuitive. You'd think it's a Wilkinson bridge so you want to select the Wilkinson tremolo route but if you do that you'll be very disappointed my friend. Uh, it's, it's more complicated than that. So I'm going to try and uh, give you the information you need for a happy experience. About a year ago, I did a video talking about the difference between designing guitar parts and designing complete guitars. And I'll link to it down below if you want to see it. But in that video, um, I talked about how much more difficult it is to design parts because then you have to make them compatible with a million other parts. Um, and you never know what bridge or what pickups or whatever that somebody might use, but you have to try and be compatible with everything. And I also talked about how manufacturers of hardware uh, sometimes change their specs and stuff and Warmoth has to try and stay on top of that. Well, this bridge is a perfect example of all of those things. Um, so this video is designed to put you on the, the path to success. Uh, so let's um, compare this to the other bridges and figure out the things you need to know to get this mounted in a Warmoth body. So first off, let me introduce these bridges. This is the Wilkinson VS100N uh, that Warmoth carries. This is the Goto 510 that Warmoth carries. Uh, it's actually the Goto 510 TSFE1, but the TSFE1 just refers to like the saddle options and stuff. It's pretty widely known as the Goto 510. And this is the new Wilkinson uh, VS1302P, and this is the Compact series. Um, I think the Compact series just means it has a slightly smaller base plate, but I'm not exactly sure. But for this video, I'm going to refer to this as the VS100, the 510, and the 1302. And you can see just by looking at these that this new 1302 has a lot more in common with the Goto 510 than it does with the VS100. I mean, you can tell just by looking at it. And in fact, I measured the base plates on these and they are virtually identical. Uh, all the main dimensions on these two are pretty much identical. The only real difference is the depth of the tremolo block. You can see that on the 1302, the tremolo block is quite a bit shorter, but the base plate and stuff is virtually the same. Uh, so, as sim But as similar as these are, there are some very critical differences. Um, and if you are wanting to put one of these in a Warmoth body, this is the part you need to pay attention to. Because like I said, this Wilkinson 1302 does not go in our Wilkinson route. The first main difference is the studs. This, these are the studs that the Wilkinson 1302 comes with. These are the studs that the Goto 510 comes with. And the studs that this Wilkinson comes with. And you can see, looking at these, that the Goto studs are taller and the, the Goto stud has a 10 millimeter diameter and these have a 9 millimeter diameter. And the depth on the Goto stud is 22.5 millimeters. The depth on this Wilkinson stud is 20.1 millimeters. So the Goto studs that Warmoth uses, bigger diameter, and deeper. What that means is that if you want to mount this bridge, the, the new Wilkinson 1302, if you want to mount that in a Warmoth body, you cannot use those studs. It doesn't matter whether you want us to install them or whether you want to install them yourself. Either way, you're going to have to use the Godo studs that Warmoth sells. Um, because if you try and put these in a 
in a warmth body, they're just going to fall right down in those in those holes because the, the, the diameter is too small. The other thing is the saddle or I mean, the post itself that unscrews out of the studs. They're not interchangeable, so that when so when you use the the Godo stud, you need to use the Godo post that comes with it. The other key difference that you need to know about with these bridges is the stud spacing, the, the distance between the studs when you mount them. And we have found that the stud spacing on the VS100 is slightly narrower. Uh, it turns out that on this, it is um, the stud spacing is 54 and a half millimeters, while on the 510 and the 1302, it's 55.9, essentially 56 millimeters. So if you try uh, to fit this into a Wilkinson route, you're going to find that the posts are too narrow and will not fit correctly in these little divots here. It won't line up correctly. And here's a picture that one of our customers sent in of them trying to fit a 1302 into the VS100 route. And you can see that those posts are too narrow. But we have been told by uh, many customers that the spacing the 55.9 millimeter spacing of the Godo 510 is what works with this bridge. And I am inclined to believe them just based on me measuring these base plates. They are essentially identical. So what I'm going to do is I have this guitar here that has a Godo 510 in it. I am going to pop this out and I am going to try and put in this Wilkinson 1302 and we are going to find out if indeed this will fit perfectly in a 510 route. And hopefully it will because I really want to try this bridge out. So um, I'm going to go do that right now. And uh, I'll be back in just a minute with this new bridge in there. And we'll see if it fits. And if it does, I'm going to put it through its paces and uh, let you know what I think. So I'll be right back. All right, so I got the bridge in and it dropped right in there perfectly. The post spacing was perfect. However, there is a major problem. Remember how I told you that the trim block on the 1302 was much shorter than the 510. Well, it turns out it is too short. Uh, let me show you. All right, so you can see here that the posts are, they line up perfectly. The spacing between the posts lines up perfectly with the bridge plate exactly the way that you want it to. The problem is on the back, and you can see the, um, the springs don't have enough clearance because that block is so short. The springs do not have enough clearance to to make it over the corner of the trim route and you end up with this fabulous sound as they rub on the edge there, the fabulous sound of failure. And uh, you know, obviously I could sand this corner down to provide the clearance there, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video would, was to find out if the Wilkinson 1302 would fit in a standard warmth body. And the answer is yes, it will uh, if you get the 510 route but you've got to pay attention to what's going on back here. You're either going to have to modify that edge yourself or um, get a different size of trim block. Now, I do want to point out a few things here. First, uh, close observers may have noticed that the, the bridge plate on the 1302 that I got is different than the bridge plate that was in the customer's photo that I showed you. You can tell if you look around the little notches where the posts fit in there, it's a different bridge plate. So Wilkinson is selling this bridge with at least two different uh, plates. And my guess is they're probably selling it with different lengths of blocks as well. So um, it's gonna require some careful research on your part to make sure that you get uh, a bridge that will work. Um, Again, the this version that I have is the 1302P Compact. Um, but it's the only version that I found available when, I, when I, I bought this at full retail off of the Wilkinson store on Reverb. And it was the only one I could find available anywhere. So at the time that I shot this video, that's the, that's the um, bridge that they're selling. So I am super bummed that I don't get to try out this bridge today. I was really looking forward to that. But you can kind of start to see how much more of a challenge it is to manufacture guitar parts where you're trying to be compatible with everything under the sun versus just making a complete guitar where all you have to worry about is one bridge and one set of pickups and one neck. But those are the brakes. 
Anyway, that is it for today's Wilkinson 1302 installation video. What did we learn? We learned that if you want to put a 1302 in a Warmoth body, you have to order the Godo 510 bridge route. We learned that you have to use Godo studs and the posts that come with them. We learned that you have to pay careful attention to the specs of the Wilkinson 1302 that you order to make sure it's going to work. And we learned that you may have to modify the trim cavity in the back to give those springs enough clearance. And that is it. I know that a lot of our customers have successfully installed a 1302 in a Wormuth body. And if you're one, please share what you learned in the comments because the rest of us would like to learn from your experience. Otherwise, just make sure you check out the Bridge Route page on the Wormuth website or give our customer service reps a call. And until next time, keep on picking.